The Vermont Air National Guard will be the first guard to receive the F-35 fighter aircraft. In fact, they will be receiving two of the next generation fighter aircraft. The F-35s will be arriving at the Burlington International Airport, where they will be based. The Guard has previously flown F-16s, which were used in multiple combat tours in Iraq and other areas of the Middle East. They were also flown for weeks over New York after the 9-11 attacks. Colonel David Smith, the commander of the 158th Fighter Wing, says the new planes, quote, really secures our mission and our future for, you are talking the next three or four decades going on to say the aircraft will allow them to serve the United States and the state of Vermont. Retired Tennessee Air National Guard pilot Ian Bryan said that the Air National Guard units used to receive hand-me-down aircrafts, while new planes would only go to active duty Air Force units. It appears things have changed, as these new fifth-generation fighters are the U.S. military's most expensive weapons system of all time, costing around $94 million each. However, not everyone is happy about their arrival in Burlington. Roseanne Greco, the former chair of the South Burlington City Council and a retired Air Force colonel, said she supported basing the aircraft in Burlington until she read the Air Force's environmental impact statement, saying, quote, The evidence was overwhelming. It would have a very negative effect on close to 7,000 people who live near the airport. Smith said the Guard understands the concerns of the community, saying, quote, It's really important to us, too, to do everything we can to mitigate the impact on the community.